talking. I'm not even trolling you. Know? I swear down, I'm not even trolling you in it. Yeah, I'm not trolling you. But Rashford had a shot, and we're not doing that. We're not doing up stats in it. Yeah, but Rashford at least had a. Sh- this is what all I remember. Maybe he had another shot. I don't know. But I remember. So you're the telling shot that me, yeah, that so if what a, I'm asking a striker that what plays I'm ninety is, minutes, he has one what shot. I'm asking, and no, no, what that's, I'm asking, that's what you is, call involvement what in asking, the game. I'm not saying that Rashford had a good game. I'm asking. You're saying he was your worst attacker. I'm asking. What did Jaden Sancho do the whole game? Because I watched him and I was thinking, I'm surprised he lasted that long. Brothers, the destruction, no, we're oozing on the net. There's no other that you'd rather bounce, but ooze, no, we the best. Shelling on the pod this weekly. Comedy gold on your TV, smash that like, touch a button like Vico. Ready for the show, my G's. You see me? I said this bounce, both ooze. I said this bounce, both ooze. I said this bounce, both ooze. Main event X, want to roll need two. I said this bounce, both ooze. I said this bounce, both ooze. I said this bounce, both ooze. Express them rats, let me build that. Arm expressions genetically jacked, athletically stacked, half man, half amazing. Modern day Mac fam. And I'm with my brother from the same mother, Ranceroni Escobar. You know he's banned strict diamonds. And welcome to the only podcast where you're gonna hear banter, you're gonna hear sports, and it's Sports Ooze episode 93 fam, what's good? Jeez, what are you telling me, Roni? I'm good, I'm good, man. What are you saying, G? Nah, I'm living life, blood. You know them way there, fam. I'm out here. Actually, I'm not actually. I'm fuming, bruv. So imagine, yeah, when I was driving here, blood, one brother. Like I'm there at a red light, like Roxanne, fam. You know them way there. Roxanne! I'm at the red light, fam. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like Tupac and Big. You know them way there, fam. Like Gene Deal. You know what I mean? I'm at the red light, fam. And then this brother, I'm telling you, this toothless Hihachi from Tekken, blood. He literally comes here with like a dustpan and brush. You know, like one of them brushes and some green bottle of water. And you know, oh, bro, he done that to me as bruv. Yeah, I told you, black bro, bruv. He just started rubbing on the yeah. windscreen, bro. I bruv, lost it. I turned my window wipers on, bruv, and wound down the window, but I tried to slap man, bro. Bro, man I lost mad. it. My car's wrapped <laughs> like a sorry fam. Man can't be doing that. Rap like the 25th of this December. I was on the phone. I said no to him. And I he just started no. doing it. Bro, bro, the man was like this. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I wound down the window, I said, what the fuck? I started cussing. Did it. You know, bro, man started cussing me back in his mother tongue, blood. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, what? Are you yeah, crazy, yeah, fam? Yeah, you done the same shit. I said, me, bro, man. you ain't got enough gums and tongue in your mouth to be talking. You had no teeth, blood. What are you talking about? I said it. No teeth, blood. Like you're living in Dubai and the security is just airtight. No teeth, blood. Do you know what I mean? How dare he, fam? Fuming, bruv. You know what I mean? Man all had that thing running down onto my whip. It's rap. Yeah, it's a mad thing. Do you know what I'm saying, fam? But anyway, bun him, blood. Let's let's move on, blood. You know them way there. And yeah, bruv, obviously, FA Cup final, blood. You get me? Manchester City, blood. Bro, they could get the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helmsley, blood. The Uno, those, Tres, the Trebles on, fam. You, yeah. man, were Gunda 1 0 down in 13 seconds, blood. United broke down faster than one of Harry Wormwood's cars in the Matilda, blood. Do you know what I mean, fam? It was actually peak, fam. I'm not going to lie. Watching the game, me personally, it looked like men versus boys, fam. You know what I mean? Watching the game, like, get me Joe Jackson with the Jackson 5 at rehearsals and that, blood. Man United really didn't look like they had a chance. I, I, don't, I don't feel like anyone showed up. Do you know what I mean? Like, where was... Like, no, no one thought... showed up. For Man United, no one showed up, blood. Uh, like, uh, you know what? Like, it's one of them ones where it's like... In retrospect, like, mm. watching the game, yeah, like, we never, like, bro, it's like City never played well. Like They didn't. They didn't have I mean? to. But it's you one of them ones, they didn't have either. to, but we didn't do much. But it's one of them things where I knew we wouldn't, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I said, like, we'd need a miracle to beat Man City. No, like, but that got Man a penalty, City, you could have beat. If, yeah, if, but, yeah, but, but no, they, they, they would have really played no. better. They would have played better if you played better. Yeah, but, but that's what that I'm Man trying to City, say. I'm reckon you lot could have beat if you played your game. No, I just it? don't think so. Like, I just we're just not good enough. Like, I know what my team is. Like, we're just not good enough, bruv. Like, in these moments yeah, against these teams, we're not good enough. Mm. And Man City didn't play well. Like, we got a penalty that wasn't a penalty, yeah? And it's like, that was the only way we were going to score in mm. that game. Like, I've said it a million times, yeah? A lot of the players, yeah, that... 
these so these so called Man United fans that want to get excited about you in the big moments they don't do anything. Do like, you know what I mean? Like everyone, everyone can do the verses and say, "Oh, this player, that player," but when it's all said and done, mm-hmm. yeah, in the big, big, big moments, yeah, the players that are the fan favorites never show up for us. You they know never what? Show watching that us. game, blood. Watching that game, who can hold their head high? Varane, him versus Haaland. Great, you get me. He always, he always seems to have a good game against Haaland. Varane had a good game. Juan Bissaka, he's another one that had a good game. Um, I don't know about that. I, 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 I don't know. Um, who I don't else? Think he, I don't think Juan Bissaka did anything to be who fair. Who else? Who? And then this is my opinion. Obviously, you got yours in it. Um, I thought Lind- Lindelof fucking, was decent. Um, nah, well, he was just there, blood for me. Um, who else, blood? Uh, who else? Looking at this thing, bruv. Ericsson, he was on. No, I didn't even know he was playing, blood. That Danish lawnmower, fam. I'm telling you, fam. Like his legs are gone. You get me, Christian Pistorius, blood. He like absolutely shocking, fam. You know what I mean? He had a shocking game. Bruno scored the goal. It was whatever. Rashford, not much service. Sancho did absolutely nothing. You know them way there. Apart from pull out a challenges, bro. You know them. <laughs> That's all I saw. That's all I saw Sancho do. Garnacho, when he came on, he looked all right. But what it is is like I see. I, I watch you lot in it, yeah. And Man United, no disrespect, blood. You know them way there. But Man United don't know how to play football. Like you man are like Stoke, blood. Like you man play very direct, in it. So with Garnacho. Like, he came on, I don't know, maybe he should have started, you know what I'm saying? Because when he came on, he seemed to cause City problems. I don't know if maybe they switched off, but yeah, Sancho wasn't really doing anything, blood, you know what I'm saying? So, with me, like, I don't know, maybe he'll be better at another team because you lot don't really play no possession based football, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jack Grealish, like, say Jack Grealish played for you, man. He'd be stinking the place out, blood, you know what I'm saying? Sancho, for me, he stunk the place out. Garnacho did a lot better when he came on and Weghorst came on and just was what it was, innit? You know, them way there, fam. Like, but for me, United, you just, bruv, like, I swear down. Like, it's crazy because you lot had to do, you lot, you lot had a chance to stop them from completing the treble, innit? Obviously, the Inter Milan game hasn't happened yet, innit? But we all, we all know Man City's beating Inter Milan, innit? If they don't, then that Yaya Torre judge is in full effect. That's how I see it, innit? Man United was the best chance to stop City from winning the treble, yeah? And if, Blood, I saw Alex Ferguson's face, blood. After that performance, blood, like, that performance for Manchester, like, especially with the treble being on and that, like, are you happy with that performance? Because, bro, that was shocking for me, blood. Yeah, but for me, it's not even about being happy with the performance or not being happy with the performance. I knew they weren't going to do nothing. I knew there was no way we could beat Manchester City. Like, in terms of the players that played well and didn't play well, I don't agree with any of that. I think Mm. Rashford is meant to be one of our bigger players and that, like, he, you wouldn't know he was playing. He's one of the players that, he's a big, big fan favourite. Everyone thinks he's one of our best players and in the big moments, he, he didn't do anything. Bruno didn't do nothing. Ericsson was terrible. People talking about Sancho, but he was nowhere near our worst attacker in that game. Nowhere near it. And to be fair so to him... So who was your worst attacker? To be fair to him, probably Rashford. And to be fair to um Sancho, the last, I'd say the last... Last three or four weeks, he's been one of our better players. Factually, he has been. He's actually been good since he's been moved to the right-hand side. He's actually played well. So, you're seeing a lot of Man United fans that were saying, get rid of Sancho, and now saying, oh, we should play him on the right now, since Anthony got injured. So, I don't agree with the Sancho thing at all. Like, he's the easy scapegoat. In the big moments, you expect Rashford to do something. He's a moments player. He didn't have any moments. Mm. Like Bruno again didn't do nothing. Garnacho looked lively off the bench. He always does. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's easy as a player to come on in a game when your team's losing with absolutely zero pressure on you to put in a performance. Like, so that's the kind <laughs> of no, that's the kind of player he is. Like, I'll be real because every time he starts for us, but he, he doesn't did, do anything. But he came on and did more y- yeah, than man did in ninety yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, like. but yeah, but you say that, but again, yeah, that is a very that is a very close-minded way of looking at football. Because, for instance, when you look at substitutes, there's no pressure on substitutes, none whatsoever. There's yeah. players that make a whole career out of being subs because there's no pressure. Players like Chicharito Hernandez, players like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, these guys are substitutes. And when they start, they're never good enough to hold down their place in the team. You never see a sub come on, do nothing and get abuse. You never see it. Like being a substitute is one of the lowest pressured positions in football. Because if think, you come I think, on, I think Sancho's been cooked. If you come on, this season, to be fair, if like you United, come on, not by you, if by you United come on fans. and do nothing in a game, 
No one says that you didn't do nothing. There's been loads of times where loads of men have come off the bench, nah, had but, no impact on the but game. But having a sub but and but everything. I mean is, you, him, he made an impact on the game, innit? That's what I'm but saying. But that's not the it? point I'm making. The point I'm making is, like you said, oh, maybe he should have started. But factually, when he starts for yeah, us, he nah, doesn't nah, make yeah, an impact yeah, nah, in the nah, game. Nah, nah. You see, see so, when I said maybe he should have started, like, if he started and then you lot lost, it would have probably been like, oh yeah, he would have probably been scapegoated, didn't it? No, nah, but he not. wouldn't have him been. Him Sancho should have started, lad. You get me? He's your big 75 million or whatever, this, that, and the other. He's Garnacho isn't that guy, in it. Garnacho isn't expected to be that guy, in it. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, I'm not saying that Ten Hag made a mistake uh selecting Sancho over Ting because obviously Sancho Sancho should have just delivered. Do you know what I mean? Well, to be fair, half your players should have delivered. Do you know what I mean? Like for me, that's why I said no one showed up, lad. It was like when Mace came to the O2 in London, fam. It's like no one showed up, Bro, like. I hear what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? No one like, showed up. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm saying, yeah, that like, man can say what they want about Sancho and what he's expected to do and all these other things. Like, keep the same energy for every single player in the team, bro. Is He's always the easy scapegoat. He was not our worst attacker. Nowhere near it, bro. But people are going to say what they're going to say. I made the point about the substitute, not because it's got a natural or anyone. So like the point is in football, yeah, coming off the bench, yeah, when your team are losing, it's just Rashford like, for instance, attacker, it? That's yeah, what yeah, he was oh, by far. Because me, because he I, didn't act, my... because he didn't do anything. He wasn't do? involved in anything. He what was way do? more involved in the game than Rashford was. No, I mean, what he did. Rashford had, at least had a shot. You know what I mean? What when? did Sancho do? What do you mean when? When, when he had the shot and the shot and then it went over the bar. That shot, you don't remember that shot? So what you're saying, what, having one shot in 90 minutes is being involved in the Sancho game? I'm what Sancho did, because I bro? watched the game. What did he do? Well, if you watched the game, then you no, would have seen me. he was way more involved in the game than a lot of the players, factually. It's not my opinion. So when I'm you're saying, what, what he did he did. do in a game where Man United didn't create a lot of chances, no, no, no. that that question because, there no, don't no, make no sense. Because you're saying Rashford was your worst player, innit? He yeah. was our worst, worst attacking player. He was the least involved in build-up. He's never really involved in build-up anyway. But the facts are, he wasn't involved in build-up. He wasn't coming short. He wasn't really tracking back and winning the ball. He wasn't doing anything. There were loads of times where we were trying to win the ball back and he was walking. I'm not even trolling you. Like, I swear down, I'm not even trolling you, innit? Yeah. I'm not trolling you. But Rashford had a shot. And I'm, we're, we're, not doing up, we're not doing up stats, innit? Yeah. But Rashford at least had a shot. This is what all I remember. Maybe he had another shot. I don't know. But I remember. So you're the telling shot that me, yeah, that so if what a, I'm asking a striker that what plays I'm 90 is, minutes, he has one what shot. I'm asking, and no, no, what that's, I'm asking that's what you call involvement in the asking, game. I'm not saying that Rashford had a good game. I'm asking, you're saying he was your worst attacker. I'm asking, what did Jaden Sancho do the whole game? Because I watched him and I was thinking, I was surprised he lasted that long. Do you know them way there? Well, bro, that's that's your opinion, innit? So what did like, he do? I can't I can't speak for how I'm, you I'm asking you a game. question. I've already told you. What? I said he was way more involved in the Doing build up. We didn't do you know what build up yeah, is? Building up, yeah, but do like what? Like, like, right, for example, this is what I'm saying. All right, so bro, you could like, have been like, oh, he gave a chance to my man. Da, 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 da. What do you mean gave a chance? You think, yeah, that I've recorded, yeah, in my head everything that every single you individual know you player lot, has done. You know, done. you lot had as much, many shots as Man City, right? Yeah, but he's not a player that takes loads of shots anyway. Factually, no, yeah. So when you're saying, saying that shots, Rashford mean, had a shot and he didn't, what, gee, that's not how they affect games. Did. I'm not saying, ah. Oh, um, Sancho, Rashford had more shots than Sancho. I'm so saying Rashford's to you, the question that you're you answering did. me, yeah, you can't quantify the question you're ask, or you're asking me right now. What am I going to say? Oh, he did this, he did that. No. Bro, as a like team, he was beating man down the wing. You know what I mean? He was running at his plane. He was trying. He was... Da, da, da. But you, you mean trying? All these, all these things that ain't got nothing to do... That's what I'm asking. What impact in the I game? It and he was just... You get me? Bro, was... that's your opinion. You that's your me? That's your opinion on the game. That's not my opinion on the game. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah, said yeah, that Varane yeah. did well and this, that and the other. Lindelof, and a couple Lindelof had a good game. Yeah, but most of these people that have an opinion on Sancho, that's their business. Bro, bro, you, you're, you're this that's guy. The, that's he must their be business. Your son or something like no, that. it's got nothing to do he with it be. because all the, all this is yeah, all this scapegoating of the <laughs> same players yeah, it don't I'm make not even no doing sense. It to troll you, I literally it don't make watched no the game. Bro. Yeah, he started yeah, and he, do you know what I mean? I'm literally not even doing this to troll you. I literally watched the game. He started. I said about Ericsson, spoke about that. I was bro, you said fine. that Wan Bissaka had a good game and he didn't. No, I so... said I said one of your. I didn't say you had a good game. None of your players had yeah, a good game. I said right. one of your better players. But he wasn't, though. Varane and Wan Bissaka, that was my thought, innit? You exactly. Know what I mean? And yeah. I'm giving you my thought. Ericsson and you're telling me about other people's thoughts. I don't care. Ericsson stunk the place out. You know them way there. You took that. Bruno, you took that. As soon as my mention Sancho, you get touchy. Like, like he, but he didn't even have a good game. Whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? So Bro, whatever. I, I asked because, a question. I still because you're not answered. listening. You gave your opinion on the game. You're asking mm -hmm. me my opinion. And then you're telling me about other people's opinions. I don't care. 
I listened to your opinion. The Wamba Saka thing, I don't think he was one of our better players. I thought Lindelof and Varane done really well. Casemiro done what he could do considering the midfield was very, very open. Our attack in general wasn't good and out of all of our attackers, Rashford offered the least. When Garnacho came on, he looked promising but didn't really do nothing. And that was it. The team as a whole did not play well. But to turn around mm. and say that Sancho was one of our worst players when factually he was not, that's your opinion. Yeah, I know. That's the opinion, you yeah. said Rashford. You, literally, he you was. Said, he was our said, worst attacker. And he was. I turned around and said, no, nah, I think it was Sancho. Yeah, and then it? you said he had one shot. So that's why. No, 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 no. I turned it. You said, yeah, you said Rashford was one of was our worst attacker. You you started this whole yes, conversation. And I didn't single out Sancho and, and, and he was the least was the worst guy on the field. I didn't do that. You said that about You Rashford. said he didn't do anything. And, then I, and I said, said nah. he was not and our then worst. And I said, nah. Okay. And I said, nah, it can't be Rashford. It must be Sancho. Because what did Sancho do? What did he do? I said, from what I remember, I remember Rashford at least had a shot. Like, he did sight and he was involved in the game. Yeah, but it? that's not how football you know works. I mean? Football doesn't work, yeah, because one player had one moment, they had a good game. That's why of football. Not. That's why but football. I'm not that's why football is. But that's the point. But it's exactly. your team. That's why I'm asking. But this you what is why did, football is I'm ninety just, minutes long. Football is ninety minutes long. If you had one good moment in a match, it doesn't mean that you had a good game. It doesn't mean you were effective. Just because you didn't do anything eye catching in a game over ninety minutes, it doesn't mean you had a bad game. That is not how football works. Like I don't need to argue about like the nuances and these other things in football. Like, if you don't do anything eye-catching in a game, that doesn't mean you had a bad game. And just because you've done one thing or two things eye-catching, that doesn't mean that you contributed to the game as a whole. That was my point. There were loads of players that did not play at a high level. There was no player on Manchester United's team in that game that played at a level that was worthy of winning the game. None of them. But what I'm not going to sit here and do here yeah, is listen to the same players get get pointed out all the time because it's easy, bruv. Bruno you know gets what I mean? pointed out all the no, time. No, he doesn't. I no, do. No, I he doesn't. Bro, on this podcast, hey, bro, I'm not talking about bro, anyone else. You're saying, you're saying that you do, but you have to understand. But this is yeah? what we're talking about. Yeah, but you're not you're not in the fan base because when your example with the Sancho but thing was, yeah, but other this. people do. Bro, Bruno Fernandes, after that game. No, no, but, after but, that no game. but forget that game because like Bruno Gary scored Neville, the penalty. I'm not even talking about YouTubers. But I'm not talking about I'm talking in general. So hold, general. so hold on, like I just mentioned something and, you're, mm -hmm. and now you're telling me about Gary Novel. What did Gary Novel say? What are you talking about? Uh, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying, you're saying, oh, I'm not in the fan base, innit, yeah? I'm not in the fan base, blood. It doesn't matter if I'm in the fan base or not, innit? You, we do a podcast weekly, innit? Do you know them way there? You know who I talk about. Yeah, I might bring up Sancho for banter, this, that and the other, but he stank the place out, so I'm bringing it I up, I don't innit? agree. That's he, fine, he isn't didn't it? But I asked out. you said that Bruno gets Bruno gets it every week. I said from who though? No, 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 no. You're saying I'm tired of the same players getting singled out, but I'm not singling out. It's not like I'm sitting there every week and oh, Man United Bruno's Bruno stinks out the place, and then I'm bringing up Sancho like this, 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 this. bro. I call Ericsson. It's not one player. I go through. I go through lists. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's just when I get to one or two. You know what I mean? But obviously Martial was injured. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we, 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 got, we get into this, innit? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, you know I, mean? I don't agree with any of that. And anyway, like Bruno, like he's someone that consistently through time, his numbers cover him from any sort of criticism. Like he was terrible in that game. He was terrible. He was worse than Sancho. He was worse than a lot of players. He was one of our worst players, but he scored. So... That's, that's what football's become. Everyone would say, oh, what did he do? It's, oh, what stats did he get? What GA did he get? That's what football's become. I'm not, I'm not here to have them arguments. He's a player that's very, very, very protected by the fan base in general. Gives very little to the overall outcome of football matches, bar the odd stat pad here and there, and he don't get criticism. So, like, for you to say, oh, yeah, yeah, he gets criticism. He doesn't really. Do you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really. You have to look at the volume of criticism that players get. Players like Veghorst and that, he ain't good enough. He's not good enough to be at Man United, but he's a squad player. The amount of criticism he gets for being a squad player, it doesn't make no sense. Like, what is he supposed to do? He's a lone stopgap. Do you know what I mean? And then there's players that play all the minutes, all the time, that do not deliver for this club week in, week out, and they, don't get, they do not get the criticism. So it's one of them ones where when Sancho don't play well, I say he don't play well. I even said after... I can't remember what game it was, but I said, I said, Casemiro, Lissandro and Varane are the only three players, yeah, that deserve any sort of like proper defending in this team in terms of what they've done. They're the only three. But in the last four or five games, Sancho has been one of our best players, factually. 
you know what I mean? So for man to sit here, yeah, after Man United as a team plays shit, and then man's the, the only guy that man's got energy for. Now I'm not gonna sit here for who, that. I'm who, just not gonna who, sit when here. When you for say that. man, are you talking about me? You or whoever. I was you said because you need to rewind the podcast. You, you and or whoever. You were like, said. you said, oh, it weren't I just me. Through, it was I loads of people. Through, but he's I always the easy Bruce, scapegoat. I, I, spoke, I spoke about Ericsson. Yeah, Ericsson, anonymous. You know them way there. I spoke about few. Of yeah, your there's players. a difference between being anonymous a and few. stinking the place out. Sancho did not a stink the place out. Nah, bro. I just Ericsson right. stank the place out. I just asked what he did, innit? Do you know what I mean? But we're just we're just back to that. You know what I mean, innit? Because obviously, like. You're talking about GA stats, this, that, and the other. Say, for example, yeah, say a um, say a he's a winger, isn't it? Say a winger, say a winger beats his man like what five, six times in the game, whips it in, no one gets on the end of it. Yeah, you could say that. You know what I mean? Like you could say he's done his job, innit? No, you but not really. Not no? in the no. You don't get goals for that. At the end of the day, no, no, no. But I, you could at least say at no, least he did something. No, no, not at all. Not at all. That's no? not oh. that's not how football works. Because if the cross was shit. Then it nah, doesn't matter. I didn't mean by that. I meant the cross as in no one gets on the end of it. Like no one scores. You get me? No one scores. You know what I mean? Like it's not a goal. Yeah, but again, understand? yeah, but again, how do you quantify that in a game? How do you quantify that? What do you mean? You can't quantify it. If you just say, oh, cool, he put the cross in the box or something, no one got on the end of it. Nah, but what I mean How do is, you quantify that? I'm you saying can't as a winger, as you a winger, can't... like if you beat your man, you get me, you get me, your winger, you have duels. You beat your man. Exactly. Five. Yeah. Say you beat your man. Five yeah, but bro, you can't look at. Yeah, but you can't look at take on. I could at least say, all right, boom, man lost two one. I'd be like, bro, he was cooking. Yeah, yeah but bro, le let me tell you man. why you can't. You can't look at those things because, for instance, take on stats. If you look at Sancho's take on stats, yeah, his take on stats are some of the best in the league, factually, statistically. But man, say he's shit. But when you look at his take on stats, only Matoma has take on stats that are comparable to Sancho's factually on paper. But when man watch him, they say he doesn't go past players. So those stats don't correlate to what people see. So you can't just say take ons. Because if but you say take ons, it's about what you see. That's what I'm saying. You yeah, but yeah, but, but the difference is out. what I you see. Can say, yeah. You can tell, you can sit here and say, what are you talking about? Yeah, Sancho's yeah. cooking because you see Yeah, it. but there's different ways to take players on. There's different yeah, ways. Yeah, but obviously you could obviously you could get a through ball and you know what I mean? And then no, I know what you're saying, I but there's a difference that. between taking on a player the way Rashford does mm. and Garnacho does, running at them, kicking it past them and trying to run past them. And then there's taking the ball past but people. Not, the way that Grealish carries get, the ball. But does it not get... Um, does it not get... No, it doesn't. Into the same it thing. doesn't. It doesn't. So it's not the same stat. It's not dribbling stat. It's not the same stat. There's take on. So if There's Jules one. Right, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. So there's dribbles completed. They're not all something. the same thing. So let me ask you something, yeah. So if... Jack Grealish, if Jack Grealish, we just use the same thing. Say Jack Grealish runs at Wan Bissaka, yeah, runs up running at Wan Bissaka, nutmegs him, gets past him, da, 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 da. or Rashford is running at Wan Bissaka, just use the same thing, and so he's running, dribbling, kicks the ball, runs past him. It's not, it's not uh, classed as a successful dribble. There's completed dribbles and there's take ones. They're not the same thing because you can take someone on without dribbling. No, but what I said, like, did you hear what I said? Yeah, but those two things are not necessarily the same. It depends on where the player is and where the ball is, etc. Like there's take-ons and completed dribbles are not the same thing in football. People think, yeah, that completed dribbles and take-ons are the same thing. And this is the problem because you'll see players like, for instance, St. Maximum that might do five step overs, go down the outside of someone. You'll see someone like Grealish that might drop the shoulder, come inside, win a foul and stuff like that. It's not the same. It's not quantified as the same thing. Because when you look at Rashford, yeah, he might try and kick the ball down the line eight times. Do you know what I mean? And only get on the end of it once. It does. It doesn't go down as oh one completed dribble. It don't go down as that, or one out of eight completed dribbles, bro. These stats are flawed. They're completely flawed. Like the way that Jack Grealish, for instance, is the most fouled player and stuff like that. The way he gets fouled and stuff. If you get fouled, it doesn't go down as a completed dribble. Mm. It doesn't go down as a completed dribble. So Grealish might go past his man eight times, get fouled. It doesn't go down as a dribble completed because you got fouled. It's just like, for instance, if you're a defender, I go past you, yeah, and you foul me and you get booked. Like, it doesn't go on saying, oh, like, it no, doesn't go on. Cooked, but if he's cooked one man and then gets fouled by the next man, that's one completed dribble. That is. No, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying the same guy. The same guy. So it's the same yeah, because yeah, no, technically that. they don't go past you because you fouled him. But that doesn't mean you didn't get cooked. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what are you saying? That's what happened with with Sancho's. No, but I'm saying yeah. Thingy. When you so look, when no, he's playing shit no, but fouled. when you look at Sancho's stats, yeah, statistically, 
he has one of the best um, dribbles completed in the league, bro. Like, statistically. But when people look at him, they say he doesn't take his man on. So, I'm telling you, there's a disconnect between what's on paper and what people are seeing with their eyes. Because they don't understand what they're watching. Yeah. Like, ball retention. Is ball retention some of the highest in the league? He hardly loses the ball. But then they say, oh, he doesn't take his man on, this, that, and the other. But when you look at a lot of these players that are super, super direct, they lose the ball more than everyone else. If he was losing the ball, he would get slated. He doesn't really lose the ball and then he gets accused of not taking players on. Like, there's some players, no matter what they do, they're not going to win. I've seen it with Pogba at my club. I'm seeing it to a certain extent with Anthony as well at my club. There's certain players that no matter what they, they're doing, yeah, people are going to chat shit until they get GA. But the thing is with Pogba, the difference is with Pogba, like Pogba is a player that can take the ball and change the game. Do you know what I mean? I ain't seen that from Sancho. My opinion, Pogba in a Man United shirt, sorry. Let me not say that because obviously Dortmund, man saw him cooking, innit? Pogba, no matter what Man United fans want to say about Pogba, he's a game changer for you lot. He can pick out a ball. I've seen Pogba do things, crazy, crazy things. One ball from his own halfway line against us. Do you know what I mean? That time when Oli, that ball threw to Rashford. Bro, but I know what you're talking about. Cup. I'm not comparing like, them as Pogba, players. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, I hear what you're saying. You're saying that, oh, some players get more heat than others, this, that, and the other. But what I'm saying is in Pogba's, like, it, like defence, you know what I mean? Like, the abuse that he was getting, at least you could say, I mean, not at least, it's like, you could say that, bro, like, I, my, the amount of moments, Pogba moments I can name, and I'm not a Man United supporter, do you know what I mean? So with Sancho, it's like, obviously, he hasn't really done anything. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, but, this, like, yeah, but this I, know, is, I know he had his time yeah, off. Yeah, but bro, but this, this is where, but this is 100% where, People need to contextualise the types of players. Because, for instance, yeah, some idiot sent me a post, yeah, with Jack Grealish's stats and Sancho's stats, and Sancho's got better stats than him. And and then I was like, hold on, bro. Like, when you watch Grealish play, yeah, this is the bread that cost 100 million last season. Man was saying he flopped because he weren't getting GA. This season, his GA is less than Sancho's, yeah, and he's had a much better season than Sancho. And when you watch Grealish play, yeah, he can ha he can be the best player on the pitch without getting a goal, without getting an assist, yeah. without getting nothing, bro. And man will say that he didn't play well. Nah, but and the point it, is, yeah, there's how? loads of games, bruv, loads of times. But how? Loads of that, bro, his Jack stats. Is, if the guy's got, got worse goal, stats than has, Sancho. That doesn't matter, though. Because if he hasn't got goals, in, like, the goals, I could hear that, yeah. You're like, saying it doesn't matter, but it does assist. matter. Grealish is to be like Man City's best player. You can see one of them. You get me? Obviously, they got Haaland, Gundogan, whatever, but... Grealish is a man that carries the ball, brought two man, will give it to someone, so that someone will give it to someone and they'll score. He'll get no credit for it, but it would have never happened if he didn't brought the two man. And man can actually see that when you watch him. Do you know what I mean? Jack Grealish, obviously, when he's had a bad game, you can see he's had a bad game, innit? But man can see that Jack Grealish has a good game, innit? Whether or not he got G, GAs or not, innit? I don't think he had a, I wouldn't say he had a good game against you lot. No, he didn't. Final. No, but no but, one did. No one did. I mean? Like, nobody that on that it. pitch really played well. Gundogan. But the fact, yeah, but Gundo, Gundo is Gundo, isn't it? Like he, he, even without the two goals, bro, Gundo he, he is, well. is, in my opinion, is the best player in the league. So for mm. me, like that wasn't one of his better games, but he's just that much better than everyone else, bro. Like the first touch of the game, he put in the top corner. Mm. Like he's different. Do you know what I'm saying? But when I look at Jack, like there's loads of games where he's the best player on the pitch, and sometimes he's not the best player on the pitch, but he doesn't do anything wrong. And people say, oh yeah, he didn't play well, bro. He's that kind of player, bro. It's like, when he's purring, yeah, it's obvious to see what he's doing. But there's a lot of times where he does a lot of things that the average person can't see. Like, last season, mm. he wasn't shit. Mm. But man was saying he was a flop. How is he a flop? Even this season, at the beginning of the season, they weren't saying nothing. It's only in the last two, three months, man have been putting respect on his name. And my point is, yeah, like, if you look at Grealish in a certain certain games, you could say to the untrained, oh, what did he do? Because he didn't get a, he didn't get a goal, he didn't get an assist, he won a couple of fouls. What did he do? Like, he's one of them players that, like, what he does does not translate to what what's on paper. And that's my point. That's not me comparing him with Sancho in terms of ability because Grealish, for me, is better than him. Do no, you know what I'm saying? Think. But the facts are, like, with a, a player like Jack as well, he's one of them players where you can say, oh, what did he do if he doesn't get a goal or an assist? And then Man is saying, oh, yeah, he dribbled past that guy a couple of times. His game's way more complex than that. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like... People don't understand the intricacies of certain players' games and they only appreciate the players that have eye-catching moments, even if they don't have great games. Like, nah, De, De Bruyne is similar to Bruno in yeah. that sense, that, like, he can have a poor game 
get an assist or two assists and a goal and everyone will say, oh yeah, he's had a great game when he hasn't. Mm. There's different players like that. Rashford's like that. I know that. Son's no, like that for so you many, guys. But there's so many different things in football. Like for example, like Harlem might not score a goal, but he might draw three defenders out by his movement and his mind opening up space for someone else to score. You know them way there. Like, yeah, and on the these, flip side, he can do nothing for 95 yeah, minutes yeah. and score. I know, but, but that's, that, but that's but my I mean point. Is, so there, there are a lot of different things in football. So when I say, what do you do? It don't mean it has to be on the board. No, no, you know but I, mean? I know what you're saying. But when you say, oh, what did that somebody do? Yeah, that's like saying how long is a piece of string? Because that's how intricate football is. You know, do you understand when, what I'm saying? Coming from a man that said if the ball wasn't a sphere, I should have known that this conversation <laughs> wasn't going to go nah, well. bro, man. because at the end I of the day, like, when it comes to football, yeah, uh, football football's not black and white and people try and uh, simplify people yeah. try and simplify the game of football yeah oversimplify it and that's what they do when they try and speak about certain players speaking about players like players like Sancho players like Jack and these guys that do stuff that mm. to the untrained eye looks like they're not really involved but they're involved do you know what I mean like that is what that what did they do is where you get the disconnect between the guys that only look at stats and the guys that look at football like for me I can look at Man City and I could comfortably say that Gundogan is their best player and probably Rodri's probably one of their most important players, but maybe Gundogan's their best player because you can take Rodri out that out that team, put Gundo in the six and City will look just as good with Gundo in the six. Gundo could play in the nine, in the false nine, could play in the eight. For me, he's their best player. If you ask a lot of football mm -hmm. fans, they'll say Kevin De Bruyne is their best player because Kevin De Bruyne gets GA or they'll Gundo say early. their best player, but I don't know. Rodri's like, Rodri... He's like the main reason why Man City don't lose blood. When they bring him out the team, they lose blood. No, because they... they, nah, they, they have, no, no, no. This season, Rodri, no. he's been like a mainstay blood. No, 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 bro. You're right in terms of he is very Big important anyway. for them. I think he is he is one of their most important I'm not players. I'm best player. But, Hell but, no. No, he's one of their, most, of their important. most important. He is. 100%. Bruh, he's I probably, put him he's more in, important than Haaland. Yeah, he, he is. Because Alvarez in, will score. In terms of importance, yeah. I put Rodri just behind, just behind Gundo only because, yeah... There's a reason why Pep has got Gundo as the skipper. Like, remember, Gundo's had bare injuries his whole career, yeah. and he was Pep's first signing. He's the captain. He gives something, not only in terms of his quality, but there's something intangible that he gives that team that Pep knows he gives it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Rodri is their second most important player because I've seen them win the league without Kevin De Bruyne. Mm. So for me, as, as good as Kevin De Bruyne is at doing what he does, like, I can see them taking him out the team and still doing it if they've got Rodri and Gundo. Mm. You see what I mean? David Silva as well is another one. I think he's underrated in terms of his importance in that team because he gives them a balance. He gives them a tenacity. Bernardo Silva. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bernardo, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He does the running that De Bruyne doesn't do. Mm. He gets stuck in because he's little. People don't realise how many tackles, how many jewels he wears. But that's what I'm like. saying. So you look at a player like Bernardo, and I'm not taking shots here. I don't mean to draw back here, but remember yeah. what I said about Sancho yeah. pulling out. Does that not upset you? Because when I watch him... Bruv, it does upset me, does bro. Does it not piss you off? Of because, course it does. Like, he's like a Premier League pocket. All he does is pull bro, out. Like, he's soft, blood. Bro, he's a soft you, Bro, blood. it does piss me he's off. He's soft, blood. It does piss me off. I've said it. And I know I, certain players, you, 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 you might say, oh, it's not in their game. Like, it shouldn't be in their game. Like, I do hear that. Certain players, it's but... It's not. He's a mad man. Like, no, he's mad soft. Bro, headers, it's not, it's not headers, in his, it's challenges, not in nature, bro. nothing. Like, I can't when the ball you see the ball if the ball's coming over and you expect someone to bro, jump he doesn't I, even jump I understand that you don't but, get angry but the thing is it does piss me off but at the end of the day I understand that's not in his nature it's just like Paul Pogba Paul Pogba is 6 foot 4 don't really don't really like to do the ugly things in football you see like with Pogba like, and he's massive bro like if he wanted to put himself like, about he looks lazy like he doesn't really run yeah, like, you know, but, like he's, yeah, but exactly. they're not but he's not lazy they're bro. not he's they, just got yeah, a language well, style lazy, but, yeah, um, but Pogba's Pogba, just got a style yeah. it looks like he's not trying but he is but because he doesn't slide and run around people think oh like bro he doesn't like the ugly side of the game that's not who he is do you know what I mean? There's different types of players. Like, Bernardo's mad tenacious. He'll run, be snapping at people's ankles. That's but then KDB crazy, doesn't do that. Bernardo's cooking on the offense. And then he's on the defense. He's like that, innit? So, obviously, with Sancho, if, if, if you're pulling out of challenges like that, you got to be cooking. Like Neymar, for example. Neymar could yeah. pull out of whatever the fuck he yeah, wants but because even, he's but cooking. Even Neymar, going forward, even Neymar every does game, press. Like, people every think game, that he don't press. He's cooking. He does press. The thing is with Sancho, mm. I don't like how passive he is in the game. I don't like it. He's mm. not a perfect player. No one's perfect. No one's a perfect player. I don't like how passive he is. Mm. I don't like the fact that he pulls out of challenges. I don't like that maybe when the game's not going for him, yeah, like mm. the way it's meant to go in, he won't at least run and kick a man down. That's why I like yeah, Anthony, well. because if Anthony, if yeah, the game's exactly. not going for him, he'll just kick a man. Yeah, at least he'll look like he's trying to do something. But, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, I understand the qualities that Sancho has, and he has a lot of qualities 
that that I'm seeing that he's not getting the credit for. So it's one of them ones where I can't get mad. Like what per se? Like per se. Bro, his ball retention's very yeah. good. Like he's given goals, like his little the passes around the corner. He done some good stuff. Even against Man City, we were doing some little build ups and he was drifting into the middle, picking up the ball, popping it off. But we as a team, we can't play football, bruv. Like we're shit, bruv. Do you know what I mean? I've been saying to man, we'll win games because we've got individuals that can do things, mm. but we can't play football. We got a midfield of Ericsson and Bruno that can't mm. keep the ball, can't protect, can't protect Casemiro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Rashford don't drop deep and get involved enough. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Sancho will come, he won't lose the ball, but man, he's not gonna pick up the ball and run past people. How man have got through all of Our this team's yeah, dead. and haven't spoke about fucking David the Error blood, Goliath the Howler blood. I swear down. Bro, that you see that got brother? No hands no. like Jamie Lannister. Bro, bro. If, I swear down. I'll, I'll be real. If I see man, no, it, it's on site. Let me tell bro. you this. If anyone sees that brother behind the wheel of a car, blood, yeah. Bro, phone Cheshire police, bruv. His car shouldn't even have a steering wheel. That brother's got no hands. I swear. How he let that in? Fam, how can you have two big... Like, I thought Larice was bad. Don't get me wrong. He is. Larice is scrubby, yeah? But between the two of them in Premier League mistakes, yeah? I swear down. Because the Hayes ones are up there. They are up the, there, the you know. The Hayes got the They're most mistakes there. leading to goals. They're um, up there. They have to be because him and Him it. and Jordan Pickford. And I think he's... Nah, Lloris is up there too. He has nah, to be. But, um, he has to be. He has to be. No, Lloris might be all competitions. In the okay. Premier League, Fair it was enough. De Gea and Pickford. Mm. Um, in all competitions, probably Hugo. But David De Gea is an absolute disgrace, bruv. And it's one of them ones. <laughs> where, bro, I mean, like, honestly, like, I would fight him. If, if, I, if I'm his teammate, I'm fighting him. Because the thing is... He cost us the Europa League. Technically, he's cost man at least a chance to win the FA Cup because you never know. We could have shit housed it on penalties because Man City didn't like he didn't make no saves. Man City weren't doing nothing. No, 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 no. You no. know, like that, bro. The first goal we conceded, yeah, he didn't even dive, yeah, mm -mm. and that tells me that his feet weren't set. As a goalkeeper, what are you doing? Just watching the game. Yeah, yeah. Like Gundo's hit the ball, yeah. It was a good strike, but it weren't right, right, right in the top corner. He mm. didn't even dive, and then the second goal. The bread shinned it and it's bounced twice. Mm. And you've got a hand on it. And mm. if you've got a hand on it, yeah, that means you could have saved it. Mm. You know what like that? Yeah, the second goal, Bro, 100%. The he second saved, goal, the ball bounced twice. Mm -hmm. As a goalkeeper, if the ball bounces twice, it's not supposed to go in. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed. I don't care. The guy yeah. shinned it into the floor from 20 yards out because he's outside the box. The ball's bounced twice and mm. still managed to go in and it wasn't in the corner. Yeah, now the second one, like the second one, he should have saved, but the first one, bro, that was that was unsavable. I, like, okay, I, I, I don't, Telling firstly, me, I don't believe it was unsavable. And second, my thing is, you at least that where dive. he was, right, where he was, like you see, looking at the, because you see when he actually deep the, um, the pattern of play, like you saw, who was, was it Harland, De Bruyne? That knocked Harland it down. Harland and De Bruyne. Knocked it down. Then, yeah, so you see then. like there, so when you actually see him getting his feet here, yeah, and obviously you you can see Gundogan going for the thing, like De Gea, you literally just seem like, it's like almost like he, he went to check to see, you know, to see how, where he was in the goal. Yeah, but as and a goal. And then when he looked, yeah, the ball was a, already over yeah, there. Yeah, but as a goalkeeper, you should know your bearings. You don't yeah, check where the goal 100%. is. 100%. You don't check where the goal is as a goalkeeper. Do you know mm, what I mean? If the, ball, fair, yeah. if the ball's out wide, the reason why the goalkeeper puts their hand on the post a lot of the time is just mm. so they know where they are. Mm. My point is, yeah, like this 13 seconds in the game, how the fuck do you not know where you are? Mm. You know, like that. And the thing is, Gundo, the ball's come over to him and he's hit it. Mm. There was enough time between the ball going to Gundo to Gundo changing his body shape to hit the ball mm. for De Gea to set his feet. Mm. You know, like that. Like, how long do you need to set your fucking feet, blood? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, well, you're two feet not on the ground. Like, bro, And you're bro, giving him a new contract as well, blood. Bro, this guy needs to be assaulted, bro. I'll be honest. It's not even about a new contract, bro. I seen the interview and Roy Keane said, yo, like, if I was in the change room, I'd have been swinging punches. And this was, like, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. David De Gea, like, bro, if you're a Man United player and you ain't put hands on him, bro, I'm disappointed. Because mm. after that, you know, when we saw Beckham with his eye bus and that, yeah, like mm. in the newspaper, that's what man's supposed to see the next day mm. after that. Because there's no excuse for allowing that shit. Mm. There's no excuse, bro. Like the guy is playing against us consistently all season. A man want to tell me about Golden Glove. Mm. And this is another thing why I don't listen to this bullshit, bruv. Where, like the same argument, oh, what did he do? He got Golden Glove. Mm. The hair is shit, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? G clean sheets don't come from your goalkeeper. Mm. They don't come from your keeper. The clean sheets come from your defence, period. Because mm. at the end of the day, yeah, if, you're, if your defence is stopping shots, there's a higher chance that you're going to get a clean sheet. Mm -hmm. Because you can't always rely on your goalkeeper. 
You cannot. Not always. You can't always. You can't. Sometimes goalkeepers have magnificent sometimes, games. Sometimes. Sometimes. But yeah. it's very rare. That you see it happen every it's very, game. It's very, very, very rare. In the game. Exactly. It's very rare that a goalkeeper has an amazing, amazing game, yeah? And then you end up winning the game because you're a keeper. Maybe you lose 2-0, but it could have been 8. You know, like that. But mm. some are going to go past him. But the fact that he's had all these clean sheets and then we look and we've got two World Cup winning centre-backs in our team, it's not really a fucking coincidence. Mm. You know, like that. Most clean sheets at, at Old Trafford, we got one of the one of the best clean sheet records and all this bullshit. I think we had the most clean sheets in Europe. It mm. had nothing to do with that idiot in goal. It had nothing to do with him. Mm. You know, like that. Because throughout the course of the season, there's not many, many, many times where I've been like, oh, De Gea's kept us in the game. He ain't kept us in the game. He's cost no, us more games than he's kept us in. No, I hear that. You know, like that, the guy's a fucking joker. And to think, yeah, that like he's going to get a new contract. Bro, it's one of them ones. If this guy gets a new deal, mm. like, bro, questions need to be asked. Mm. They need to be asked because there's no reason to keep him. There's no, no reason to him. keep him. What's the point in keeping him as a number two? What's the point? City's number two is better than him. Yeah, well, we're you know getting rid of Lloris, boy. About time, fam. Yeah, Good but, riddance, but you, man, man, are linked to Pickford, though. Huh? You, you're linked to Pickford, though. Is that an improvement on Lloris? No. I didn't know we was linked to Pickford. Another left-footed goalkeeper, bro. I didn't, I didn't hear we was linked to Pickford. I heard... Jordan Pickford. Getting, I, didn't, I didn't hear that, blood. Yeah. I heard we was linked to Pickford time ago. I didn't hear anything about brand new. I only for no links we got. We ain't got a manager, blood. Do you know what I mean? We ain't got a manager. We ain't got a sporting director. We ain't got nothing, blood. We're getting that... And the, the Australian, the, blood, the Australian you know I mean? brother, bro. Yeah, I don't fam. know nothing about him. I don't care. I like. I watched his interview, yeah, and he goes, "Oh, let's let's um let's have it right, yeah." You man laughed at me when I was giving a job at Celtic. You you took the piss. Said, "Who's this guy?" Duh, 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 duh. And then my man won the treble, fam. The uno, dos, tres. You know what I mean, fam. Man won the Hendrick Larson Cup, blood. So like the way I see it is, yeah, yeah. He's got like, a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. You know what I mean, fam? I don't care. I'll take him, bro. I'll take him. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? One thing I know is it ain't going to keep Harry Kane. Do you know what I'm saying? Benzema, mm -hmm. Benzema's leaving Real Madrid. Do you know what I mean? I hope Harry Kane goes there. I hope Daniel Levy would be a bum not to sell him. If he doesn't sell Kane, I'm hearing Daniel Levy wants something about an excess of 120 million yeah, minimum plus two, nearly. It could rise to 200. I said, are you high? I'll sell Kane 100 million. To Real Madrid. Anywhere abroad, 100 million right now. I'll take the money, blood. Do you know what I mean? You'll probably sell him for less than 100 if he goes I would. abroad. I'll sell him for 80. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Because it just is what it is. I'll see if I can get 100. But you know what I mean, fam? I'm not going to long it out because, bro, if you keep him here and then he leaves on a free, bro, he'll end up with Pochettino at Chelsea when they're back in Euro, uh, in the Champions, Champions League. League. If they're back in the Champions League. Man United, I expect. You know them way there. Like, obviously, City's got Haaland. Do you know what I mean, fam? So with me... Like, with Benzema leaving Real Madrid, it's just the perfect time for him to go, blood. Mm. It's the perfect time. But they're saying they want Kai Havertz, though. Yeah, but well, is he a striker? I know Chelsea's been playing him bruv, there, but he We don't know what he is. He's a Statue of Liberty fan. We don't That's know what he, Kai Havertz is. He's bruv. trash, but like, he's been linked heavily with Real Madrid. No, but I heard that they wanted to buy Odgaard as well, so I thought maybe they were looking to buy playing behind the striker. No, I don't think they want... Um, They don't want Odegaard back. They well, yeah, know. I heard, I heard. well, boy, maybe that was just, uh, I think that may have just been paper talk to get him a new deal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, possibly, because, you know yeah, yeah, no, like, no one don't want Odegaard like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, the, the Kai Havertz thing, the rumours are strong. Harry Kane, I can't see any, any way that he ends up at Real Madrid. Not because I don't think it'd be a good move for him, but because I just feel like culturally, I think his missus is pregnant again, bruv. So? You know, like that. Like, you have to think about She his... could do with a tan, blood. You know I, I mean? hear that, but wavy. he'll think about his current children, schooling situation, the fact that the wife's pregnant, all these other things. Like, mm, I just mm, can't mm. see... Uh, I can't see a situation where Harry Kane ends up at Real Madrid. Harry Bro, Kane stays in England. If you go Real Madrid, yeah, like, bruv, let's be honest, innit? it's new you, isn't it? If it's mm. new youths born in Spain, he'll probably speak better English than if it's born in Manchester. Mm. Do you know what I mean? No disrespect. Do you know the way they're You're like, in London, blood. Do you know what I mean? Harry Kane's son, <laughs> <bro. You know laughs> you there, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I mean, that you know speech I mean? impediment might be genetic. No, 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 no. You're taking the piss, blood. You know what I mean, fam? Don't talk about my striker, <laughs> blood. You know what I mean, fam? Trust me, blood. At least, oh, at least, at least, my at least, at least when Harry summer, Kane, bro. at least when Harry Kane's with his woman in the bedroom, blood. You get me, fam. It's it's equal opportunities and that, fam. You know them way there. There ain't no, there ain't no power book. What is it? Tommy's one force, blood. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, blood. Yeah, how about that, fam? Yeah, how dare you, blood? Mason Greenlight and that, bro. What are you talking about? But yeah, nah. Let's move on. Um, let's move on. Yeah, hopefully, I'm hoping Harry Kane goes. 
to Real Madrid, but yeah, he probably won't. He may end up staying at Tottenham and then just leaving on a free. Um, in other news, um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has retired. You know what I'm saying, fam? Big him up, finally. What is he, like 41 now? Yeah, about that. Yeah? Absolute baller. Like, Who was he playing? AC Milan. Oh, is it? Yeah, he went back to AC. Well, he, we, he wasn't playing against us when when, when we played. No, nah, because um, he had um, another knee surgery. Oh, is it? Yeah. So My days, Yeah, bro. he was just on the side, um, just obviously supporting the team and that, and he's decided to retire because he's probably thought, you know what, just rehab things long, mm. coming back, and he, he can't play the way he wanted to play, so he's retired. And he's done the right thing. He's retired. He's retired still, like, at the top. Do you know what I mean? Still at a good club, mm. at a good level. Like CR7. Yeah, and hasn't embarrassed himself. Do you know mm. what I mean? He's gone out the right way. Do you know what I mean? Certain man's go, gone there, knocked out of all competitions, let Nuno win the league as well, blood. When he joined the, bruv, when he joined the team, they were top of the league, you know. They were top of the league. Fault, blood. It was 100% his fault. Do you know what I mean? And, and this is the beauty about football. Like, football is a team game. Do you know what I'm saying? And as soon as you try and make it anything other than a team game, you stop winning. You know, like that. And that's exactly what happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? Al Itihad. And they've just signed Karim Benzema as well. Who? Um, Nuno's team after winning the league in Saudi Arabia. What do you mean they, they, they've signed Karim Benzema? That's where he's going. He ain't signed for, for them, yeah? He could all go Chelsea, blood, if they was in the nah, Champions League. Nah, 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 nah. He's going to Al Itihad. I heard that, but he ain't signed. Bro, I saw the thing today. What I saw, I saw, saw the what? breaking thing today. Um, Literally, maybe like an hour ago. Oh, is it? Yeah. Karen I heard Benzema. that him, yeah, Benzema, Messi and Ronaldo could all be in the Saudi league or something. Yeah, like because they want Messi as well. They've offered Messi like 400 million euros or some shit like that. What, a year? A I week? Think, I think for well, a year. Who knows, blood? That's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't know. That man, I think they've offered, it, man print I money think they've offered it offered to him for a year. But Karen Benzema, it's one of them ones where, do you know what I'm saying? Like Muslim brother going to Saudi. Yeah, he'll be one of the fa faces of the league. Bro. Yeah, They're going to pay him big, big, big money. How old is Benzema now? I'm like 36 or something. He'll mash work. 36? Yeah, he'll mash work. I didn't even know he was that old. He'll mash work. Yeah, Fucking so like 36 like. or 35. He'll, he'll mash work there, bro. Yeah. Like, Karen Benzema can actually still play. You know, like that. So he'll go there and he'll mash that league up. He'll mm. go there and he'll mash that league up. Do you know what I mean? He's not going to go there and be throwing tantrums like Ronaldo. So mm. it's, it's one of them ones where um, Saudi, the Saudi league is almost like the new the new Chinese league where, um, where when people were going to China for the big money. Mm. It's the Saudi thing. Do you get me? And I think that's a good move for um, Karim Benzema because he's the drip god anyway, blood. Like he's, he's done what he's done mm. at the top level. Now he's going to make his money and this is his like, this is his Floyd Mayweather exhibition money now. This is the, the rob the bank stage, isn't it? Like mm. he's done what he's done in, in football. He's proven himself. And now he's just going out there to make his money. Like I rate it. Do you know what I mean? Because he knows that you know what, maybe I can't have the same impact that I used to have. I'm going to just see the final years out and make some money. Mm -hmm. But at least he doesn't still think that he's the best player in the world, isn't it? No, and and that's why that. man after hail up Zlatan because he spent a couple years at AC Milan helping to, just behind the scenes, just helping to kind of push the younger players on and took more of like an influential, like a coaching role. And he realised that his best days were behind him. He was sitting on the bench. Mm. He wasn't causing any conflict. And he's gone out the right way. Do you know what I mean? Like, he has played for Juventus, Inter, and AC. He's one of the few players that played for all of them. I know Pirlo has, I think, and a few, a couple other players have as well. And it's one of them ones where he's not hated at any of those clubs mm. because of the way he's carried himself. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Ronaldo should have got this, uh, the sending off at Man United that Zlatan got at AC Milan. But he won't get that because he's a petulant guy, bruv. Do you know what I mean? So now he's got to hold that. Man's getting booed in his, uh, by his own fans. So, so in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, bro. That's peak. I'm getting booed in that. I went from right Sue now. to boo. Like, that is peak. <laughs> so, nah, 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 football's mad. Football's mad right now, man. There's a lot of things happening. It's the end of an era for a lot of players that man grew up on. Mm. Do you get me? Like, man saw CR7 come through, saw Messi come through, mm -hmm. saw Benzema come through, Zlatan. All these guys now are retiring, and now we have to look to the new gen. And mm -hmm. who is there? You know what I mean? Bro, Mbappe Harden and Holland, that's it. What do you mean? And, and oh, Vinny. Oh, oh. And yeah, Vinny. that's what I was going to say. Vin, Vin, Vinicius Jr. Vinny don't Harden, get enough respect on him, Mbappe, but it's just them three. Um, it's just them three. There's no more. There's no more. It's, Ralph Felix was meant to be that, but boy, you know, like that, he's come to Chelsea, it hasn't worked out, and now he's got to rebuild his reputation somewhere. Yeah, there's really no There's more. no one else, bro. There's no one else. 
that, that's just what it is. There ain't really any any superstars really in the game anymore. Like that, the game is not there no more. The game, the game is not a superstar man, game. Man, no just more. ain't gonna man ain't gonna put Kane in there until he wins a trophy. Yeah, is that what you're saying? No, I'm no Kane. Kane's a top player, but he's he's old, bro. Like these men are um twenty three oh, and under. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next, the new, the new gen. The new yeah, gen. Yeah, 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 Kane's right. the same age Kane's as Neymar. 30, blood. He's the same age as Neymar. 30. Kane's about to turn thirty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's Neymar about. Neymar's to turn 30, 30. Well. Neymar's okay. gonna be thirty one, I think, um okay. this year. But Neymar's thirty. That's mm. what I mean. And Kane is. I thought Kane was thirty already. He's twenty nine. Mm. KDB, I think, is thirty two. So that's not the new gen. You know what mm. I mean? Like the mm. under twenty threes, mm. like the Leals and all these guys. Like Rafael yeah. Leal's not. He's not good. Enough. He's not there. Yet. He's not Vinicius. Yet. You know, no, like no, that. No, he's not Vinicius. Like, he's not in bad fatty, boy. What happened? Bro? Again, too many injuries. So that's mm. what I mean. The new gen. Who like who are we gonna look to? Who's gonna be the the Neymar, the Messi, the CR seven, the Zlatan? That, there's no one. You know, like that. And I think that that speaks for, I think that in itself speaks for how people need to actually analyse the game of football now. Because it's not the same game that it was 10 years ago. Mm. So now when we look at players and we expect certain things from players, we have to adjust our expectations because there aren't really many special players in the game no more. Do you know what I mean? There's efficient players now in systems, but you don't really see special players. You don't really see match winners no more, like, I mean, who were the match winners? All the match winners really are the more mature players. Mm. They're the match winners. Like when you look at the youngsters and that, Mbappe is 100% a match winner. Vinny can be a match winner. Holland's a good finisher. Do you know what I mean? So you could argue that he's a match winner based on the fact that he can finish. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, clutching, bro. No, I hear that. And boy, I think that's pretty much it, blood. You know, then we're there with the football and that. Mm. You know what I mean? Other news. You hear, obviously, the saga that we touched on last week, blood. You know what I mean, man. Like Philip Schoolfield and that, blood. Mm. You know them way there and hardcore Holly, blood. I heard that she's back on this morning or something like that. Yeah, you know I see. Mean? She gave some planned speech today, bro. Oh yeah. And uh, well, listen, what a load of nonsense, blood. And you know what I mean, and nonce in capital letters, blood. I'm yeah. telling you, because that's exactly what that was, nonsense, blood. Did you see um Groomfield's interview, blood? Brother, I this, swear bro, that I couldn't believe it. This bro was vaping, bro. <laughs> This Bruh, guy, the bro was vaping. We like, want to know bro, what else he's sucking, fam. Because bro. let's be honest, in it, yeah, the way he was, bro. I swear that he was replacing that from something else, blood. Bro, you know this I mean, bro was cheesing, yeah, like he was at a shisha cafe, blood on Edgeware Road, blood. That's, That's what crazy. it looked like. And you know what the wickedest thing about it is, with um Holly Willoughby as well, yeah. It's like she's gonna sit there and pretend that she didn't know what was going on, yeah, and then come blatantly reading a script, yeah, mm -hmm. about what's going on. It's like, bro. Allow it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the wickedest thing is, yeah, you know that flipping um Schofield's brother, yeah, yeah. went jail for the yeah, same noncery, yeah, 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 blood. Yeah, yeah, Do you know what I'm course. saying, bro? Them man yeah. are the arch archbishop bishop of noncery, blood. No, I'm That's what them man are, bro. Him and his brother. From man knew that his brother was on the nonce thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. You should have had half an eye on this brother. You know, it like that. Crazy, and then you're trying bro. to make him make him a um a victim. You see, man coming out in the interview saying trying to compare compare his mental health and the ordeal. All these men want to try to draw for the mental health thing when they get yeah, caught they tickling bums, bruv. They nah. always do that. Don't, man. don't so try to run blood. for the mental so health unfair, thing. It's so unfair, blood, when it, they do that. It's bro. fuckery. It's so unfair. You know, like do that. that bro. Like, don't, so don't hide behind the mental health thing, bro, mm -hmm. because you can't, yeah, get the consequences, yeah, and the repercussions for your actions and then cry mental health, blood. That's what I'm saying. You knew... You was doing a fuckery when you was doing it, bro. Like, exactly. you're not upset. You're not sorry that you done it. You're sorry you got caught in it. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. So don't try to say, oh, the mental health. So what? You just thought that what? You, there's going to be no consequences for what you did. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. You're on some bullshit. And then Holly's trying to pretend that she didn't know nothing about it. She knew, Whatever, blood. Whatever, man. Whatever, she, she knew, didn't know fam. nothing about Of course she knew, blood. You know what I mean? And then man's there. trying to do the Sean Kingston thing, suicidal and that, bro. Yeah, it's like, bro, talk. allow it. He's moving mad, like, you bro. get me? Because he's just been cancelled off everything, blood. You know what I mean? What I'm, I'm rightly so. What did you think, blood? You know what I mean? Like, what did you think? Bro, when you was doing it, you should have been thinking about the consequences. You wasn't because yeah. you thought you was untouchable. And, and the mad thing is, yeah... I reckon most of these men probably knew what he was doing, you mm -hmm. know? And then he it pissed off the blood. wrong person yeah. and someone just said, you know what, we're just blowing up that's his it, whole thing. That's why Eamon was cooking him, blood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eamon cooked these him These men knew blood. what he was doing. They don't, all knew, blood. Bruv, don't think for one second, yeah, mm -hmm. that all of these men didn't know. That's it. You know, like I'm that. I'm going out to coffee with my man, blood. Going out to coffee with an underage guy and, and then uh, someone's filming their, mm. like, one million... Um, Something on YouTube, innit? Yeah, so there's film and he's in the background and Schofield turns around and is like, please don't release it. He says to the YouTuber, no. please don't release it. It will ruin me, blood. 
Do you get no, me? No, I haven't yeah, seen that. Yeah, please don't release it. It will ruin me, bro. Fam. You know what the wicked is, bro? Saying? That could have been your godson. That could have been anyone, bro. That's you know what man's moving. That's what mad. I'm saying. Everyone, you know what I'm saying? yeah. Like there's been people, and he's like, follow, and he's follows bare like kids, blood, bare like 15, 14 year olds, and that on Twitter, innit? But the only thing is, yeah, the only reason why I would well, I'll try and cut him a bit of slack, yeah, is because you know, like on Twitter, yeah, like me, I don't follow no one back on my social media. Yeah, but you see, Twitter, Twitter was the one platform where people beg man for a follow, and I just follow them back because mm. I don't even look, I don't yeah, use it, innit? Yeah. So man could. So you get me? Obviously, nothing ain't going to come out of me with no madness like that, yeah? But who knows? I may follow someone that's under 18 or whatever, but that's like a faceless account. I ain't looked at it. Like, you know them way there. This brother knows what he's doing, innit? He like, does. This brother knows he what does. he's doing. And Bro, then... he's the kindergarten cop, fam. You know them way there? That's what he's on, blood. I'm 100%, you. bro. This guy... Is a disgrace, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Um, them man there watching it, cheaper by the dozen is born in that fam. I'm telling you, he's a wrongin. He is an absolute wrongin, fam. Yeah, you know nah, them with that. Nasty, bro. Philip screwdriver, <laughs> blood. You know what I mean? He's a wrongin. Nah, he's a wrongin, bro, fam. Nah, man. He is. There, there's a special place for people like him. You know them. Yeah, so bro. It just is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, They're gonna pretend fam. that they didn't know, but. People have been in work environments. Man, them know who the work husbands are. Man, them know who's doing what. That's actually crazy, blood. Like, you get me, fam? And to think that my man, and he's been given a platform, and as they know as well, blood. Do you know what I mean? You're working for a big company like that, right. and they know what All you're doing. All of them knew, but Bro, this is why I think ITV that there's something more sending sinister. cars. ITV are was sending that you, uh, picking up that you, dropping him to Schofield's house, and then them two were getting separate cars from his house to the studio, blood. You know that, right? ITV was paying yeah, for but, that, blood. Yeah, but see, I don't know the ins and outs, but the reason bruv, why... Bruv, Eamon exposed the whole bruv, thing, The reason blood. why I know... That 5,000-page document, like, corner bed, The reason bruv. why I know that people knew is the same way I knew that them man knew about Savile, blood, the BBC, and they covered that up. Yeah. You know them ones? At the end of the day, there's no way that none of these men knew what Schofield was doing. No, bruv. 100%. You know them ones? That there's no fucking way bro he so likes for kids me, blood it's not school field it's school field blood. Yeah, that's but, where he's but, at he's but at this is for gates. me he's at the school gates philip school gates blood you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 no like philip school gates blood hey, bro. that bossy old blood they no, i'm knew, being serious they knew what he was doing there's yeah. absolutely zero chance that they didn't know what he was doing but that's why i believe he pissed off the wrong person and then they said, fuck it, we're just going to ruin this brother. Because mm. there's no way he kept it secret that long. No, no, no. There's way, no bro. way. Everyone no way. was in on it. And the fact that they're mm -hmm. getting Holly to stand there, yeah, mm -hmm. and pretend that she didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. You sit next to this brother every single day at work and you didn't know. You get me that he was tickling that youth's bum, bruv. You knew. No, I've got 100%, fam. You knew, bruv. I'm, 100%. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really trying to hear that. Get me, and I'm seeing photos of, of, of like, the, the, the youth between them, blood. You know them way there, fam, and that. Like, it's crazy, blood. You get me? It's actually crazy, blood. Nah. Literally, man. Will and Grace and then that little youth, blood, in between bruv. them, bruv. Schoolfield, blood. Yeah, blood. Philip Schoolfield, blood. That's mad, bruv. him, blood. Schoolfield. Bruv, yeah, bruv, the school of nonsery that him it and his is, brother bruv. went to, blood. I'm telling I you. I can't bruv. imagine both of them as well, bro. What kind of family, blood? But that's what I'm saying, you bro. Get me, and then watch, watch, it's gonna come out that their dad or something yeah. used to play with their bum and that, and they're gonna do that. Yeah, probably. Watch, that's yeah, what they're gonna do. Whole they're family. gonna say oh, I was abused when I was a kid and that, bro. I'm waiting for the story, blood. Mm, you know what like I'm Rasha Bacon and that fam is crazy, bro, blood. You bro, know what I mean, fam? I'm waiting for the sub story. Because that's yeah, what's going like to come that, out. That, that, that flipping, like that, that Murad Morali guy when bro, he got done out. Yep, they're and gonna the man turn tries to say, you, get, you know what? And even him, <laughs> he's there commenting, making videos about Schofield and that, yeah? Like, on man's case and that, yeah? Mm. Don't think we forgot about you, blood. But man have forgotten about nah, you. Nah, I ain't. Mm. With the foot and the feet yeah, and the all foot of that and mouth, thing. blood, like the beef and Yeah, that. you know what I mean? Foot and mouth, blood. You know what I mean? The dyes, blood. You know what I mean? Bro. You get me? Bruv, us, us Caribbeans know about foot pun shoulder, blood, not foot pun mouth. What's the matter with you, you wronging? Bro, nah, bruv, man will call bro. it out. It's facts. Man will bro. actually call it it's out, a, blood. It's 100% facts, but like, th this is why I got a laugh at the situation because I know how it's going to go. Mm. They're going to make a victim of him somehow. He's going to mm. come up with a sob story about his dad. You know them ones there, his dad mm. abused him and that made them all. Bruv, I'm, 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 I'm not here for it. Nah, 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 you nah, You know what, nah, I'm nah. just not here for it, bro. That's that what guy has to get cooked, bro. Nah, that's it, bro. Nah, that's it, blood. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that that Morali guy, I swear, I'm not getting off his neck because he's made ample videos bare. His his YouTube went quiet, blood. He weren't releasing. Because you know these men that like to talk about everyone, yeah? But yeah. then when the shit comes to them, yeah, they ain't got nothing to nothing say, blood. To say, A man, man made that sham of a video, blood, with him crying and that, blood. You know what I'm saying, fam? Like, yo, nah, bro. My, my, like, don't get me wrong, fam. It's crazy. It's crazy. These men are, oh my God. Trust me, blood. No one doesn't 
asked to be in the limelight or anything like that. But especially whether you're in the limelight or not, you need to live your life a certain way, innit? I live my life a, a life a certain way without the camera, on the camera, innit? So, bro, like if something, like, for example, if something was, if I was to get into any legal troubles or something like that, man, no, it's because... I went to punch someone up or I went to the... It's not going to be anything I'm doing like shit that, that I know that I can live with. Bro, you know what I, mean? I, know I don't I can even live check with random it. gal no more mm. because you get me, fam. You know, it. you, it's not worth it, bro. It's really not worth it, blood. You get me? Man got to take measures. Do you know what I'm saying, blood? Literally, man got to take measures. I'm telling you, the last one night stand I had, um, you get me, fam. I remember I was in America, blood. So I was in America, met one thing out there, blood. Bro, listen. I made sure, bro, I walked her down to the hotel lobby, blood. Like, you get me, fam? I was playing with her hair. Like, I made it look like we were the happy married couple, this, that, and the other. Fam, I was done. I mean, I bust my nut. I didn't even want to see her downstairs. Do you know them way there? But, bro, you got to do it for the cameras. You know what I mean? Got to do it. Went downstairs, was playing with her hair like we was happy couple. Put her in the Uber. She gave me a kiss, was all waving. Da, 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 da. All for the CCTV, blood. <laughs> fam, as soon as she got in that Uber, I deleted her number. Do you know what I'm saying? Blocked. Gone. I didn't want to see her again. I did it all for the cameras. You know, I'm not trying to get caught up like, like fucking Ja Rule and Lloyd. Am I a prick, fam? You know what I mean? I can't be doing any of that, fam. So, yeah, nah, man. That's just what it is, man. That's just what it is, blood. But yeah, F Philip, uh, School Gates, Schoolfield and Hardcore Holly, blood. It's all crazy for them, blood. It's actually all crazy. And then the last, the only other thing, I believe, was obviously that Mizzy thing's going on, in it With that, that you, and he's just getting dragged onto all I haven't seen any news. of it. I just saw bro, that he went just into get, someone's house. And bro, he's just it. getting dragged onto all different news platforms and they're just making him, like, they're just trying to draw him, like, it's, it's like... But well, they're just trying to make an example of him. Yes, that's what they're doing. Yeah. They're literally trying to make an example out of him, innit? You get me? They're just trying to bring him onto things and he's thinking, oh, yeah, I can have this reach and that, and they're trying to make an example out of him. Yeah, I, I, I only saw that he went into some people's houses and you know what it is, yeah? This is what I'm saying, that... Mm. We're in the era right now, yeah, where people only care about clout, bruv. Yeah. They don't even care about making money. They don't care no, about breaking no. laws. They, these men no. just want to be, That's they want to appear That's it. to be doing well, innit? Like, walking into someone's house on that bullshit, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, he's lucky the houses that he walked in. Because he, he walked is. into mine, he would have got No, but snuffed, Duffy bro. know who to frighten, though. Yeah. He knew the house he was walking. He saw the woman outside, yeah. and he thought, oh, yeah, you know what? There's no one there. Bruv, he didn't even, like, that's what I'm saying. If it was a black woman, mm -hmm. and I'm being serious, this is this is how man's mentality is. If it was a black woman, he would have fought twice solely because if she's got sons, he's getting fucked up. Mm. And I'm not saying that uh, the other people, like, you get me, a white son wouldn't have fucked him up as well. But the amount of boys he had in his head, mm. he would have thought, you know what? Even if they got sons, maybe I can. Do you know what I mean? That's just the mentality. Well, it's a the mentality the thing. The thing is, yeah, it's you get like, me? white people have dogs, blood. You know them what? ones? Bro, that's what I would be thinking. Listen, no, listen. You know them ones there? <laughs> White people have guns as yeah, well. I, I Do you know, know them way there? I know that, but it's the dogs, fam. Because, like, bro, like, the majority of the white houses I've been to, there's dogs in it. So, mm. my mentality is, bro, like, I'm not trying to walk into the house and the dogs yamming me, bro. bro. You know, like that. It's like, what he done didn't make no it sense. Make sense. Because it's like, bro, it's fuckeries, bro. It like, is. the fact you don't know what's in there, but mm. the fact that you're brazen enough to do that, something mm. needs to happen to you really, innit? Mm. Because the, the only way people learn, mm. bruv, then if you don't hear, you must feel. Because all these things where man are saying, oh, like, bringing him onto shows and all that. The only real way for a man like that to they learn... They're saying he hasn't got a dog. He said all the white people I know got a dog. They said he hasn't got a dog. He probably sold his dog so he could buy all these other man's wives' drinks, blood, with <laughs> <the> fix them. <laughs> man sold his dog, blood, so he could buy drinks. Man sold his, so he could buy drinks in Leicester Square and that, blood. Man like Willard, bro. I like... <laughs> well out to the casino and that. But no, nah, big man thing though, it's like, why uh, would you assume what someone's got in their house? Yeah, That's nah. crazy. And that shows you that these men no, but do you not know fear. These, these use mentality. Because that's, they that's don't fear they anything, bro. Think. And this is why it's I the same guy. Like it's the same guy. You know what I mean by what I said? So for example, Mizzy will sooner walk up to a, a white man and try to rob him. Do you know what I mean? And mm. that white man can know Kung Fu, blood. He could be a black belt and he'll fuck him up. You know what I mean? You know when it's just like a thing where you look like, you know what I mean? That's just what it is. It's a mentality thing. And I've, I've obviously grown up in the streets and that, you know, you know what I mean? Man are easy picking, man are da, 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 da. Bro, no one ain't easy picking. You know, you can look at someone, think they're easy picking and the most dangerous man looks like he's not on anything. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Literally. Trust me, I've seen, I'm not even trying to bait up old stories and that, but I've seen man, like, you get me that I thought someone was easy picking. I've seen a man mm. go over there and be like, yo, yo, and the man twist up his finger and that, blood. Bro, I was right behind him. We was about to run over. When we saw a man's finger twist up like that, we knew what time it was, mm. bro. You get me, fam? 
That's what it is, bro. If man ain't got the toolbox, like, because home improvement, then man better go home. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Them youths are dumb, bro. Like, and that's the thing. Is. And, and they do these things for TikToks and and for a little clout and stuff yeah. like that, bro. But, like, lessons need to be learned from mm -hmm. these kind of things. And that's why, like, I genuinely believe when stuff like this needs to happen, yeah, only way man are going to learn is if man walk up, run up on the wrong person and get weighed in, bro. That's no, the only 100%. way to learn, bro. 100%. That's the only way to learn. So I don't find that funny. And also, people giving him a platform... Mm. Whether it's to explain himself or not explain himself, again, that don't make sense. Because in my in my head, when people do dumb shit like that, mm. the best thing to do is not give them a platform. Yeah, I know. You know, like but that. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to give him a platform. But that's what I'm saying. He'd never have a platform mm. if he didn't do that dumb shit. Well, there you go. Not but... get, you're not going to bring a black man on that's trying to help his community yeah. and bring him on GMB News or whatever no. the hell it's called I know to be talking saying. about all of them things there. No, big yeah, man they're too. doing it to make man any, look like, any, a, any like a dickhead thing. and yeah, trying to yeah, scapegoat yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But then my thing, my mentality is he done it for clout. So... Don't give him any more by bringing him on platforms. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what it is because in his head, he's thinking, right, these men have got all these followers. People are still talking about me. Yeah, people are still seeing me. 100%. You know, like that. And people like that need to be ignored, bruv. You know what I mean? When you're going into people's houses to do dumb shit, mm. you need to be ignored, bruv. Because that shows me uh, that attention, yeah, is the most is the thing that you value the most. Mm. You know, almost over your, o your, whole, your own life. Because you could have walked in the yard... No, and you could have had a son in there. You could have got chefed up. 100%. Bro, 100%. <laughs> you know, like that. 100%. You're a fucking idiot. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro. But unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Like, the, the biggest currency now is clout, bro. People don't care about money no more. People don't care about success, bro. It's about appearing to be successful. That's what people care about now. No, I hear you. 100%. But... All right, well, this is the end of... We, we, did, we don't even need to do... Actually, we could do that. We could do the oozing sorcery award. Well, uh, Uzen Sorcery Award just gives that to Gundogan for his double. Yeah. His double in the final. Well, I did the week. Man's giving it to Schoolfield. You know, yeah. them right there. Um, you want to give your bona fide bomb of the week, dude? It's very... This is, it's, a, it's difficult. Not much has happened, bro. You can give it to that Mizzy you, blood. Mizzy you, okay. He has, to, he has to hold the L for that. Say that's no some, more. Some idiot. No, 100%. And if you've got... Is there anything else you want to say? You want the Helvetia? Anything to do with Helvetia? No, no. We um The ladies lost their game 3-2 in the final. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Unfortunately, but... Yeah. It's been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a positive season for the team as a whole, considering where I, where I picked it up from. Mm. You know what I mean? The team done very well to to get to the finals, etc., etc. Mm. Better team on the day, but the team that made the least mistakes won the game, no, innit? Three twos are a close game, blood. But the Especially thing is, for, for futsal. yeah, but it, you know it was mean. a very close game. But we went, we made two mistakes for two of the goals we conceded, and we went ahead. We were one nil up, mm. and then I think it went to, yeah, then it went to one one. Then we were two one down. Then we equalized, mm. and then we conceded the third one almost straight away. But the goals that we conceded. The two goals we conceded after going one one goals up, both of them were our own mistakes. Both of them were our own doing. Like they didn't create anything, and their goalkeeper played really well as well. So mm. it was disappointing for me because I know that my team are the better team. But boy, at the top level, a lot of the time it does come down to the team that makes the least mistakes. Mm. Do you know what mm. I mean? Not mm. who's mm. the best team is. Do you know what I mean? So like it's just one of them ones. Like I said to the players after, because you gave them the game, you made the mistakes you can only look at yourself. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And it's a good place to be. Like, I don't mind losing a game when I know that I fucked up mm. because I know that I can control that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? When you lose a game when the other team's better than you and you get peppered and you feel helpless because there's nothing you can do, mm. then, jam, that's a bigger problem. Do you know mm. what I mean? So, like, they just know they need to cut out the little things, make better decisions in the moment and the trophies will come back home. You know, like that. So next season, I'm, I'm getting both my trophies back. Like, it just it just is what it is. No, I hear that. Well, shout out. Get me. If you got to the end of the episode, what should they type in, blood? Schoolfield. Yeah, type in Philip Schoolfield, blood. You know, the way there. Philip, it's mad, bro. And yeah, fam, uh, we'll be back next week. Make sure you guys smash a like, share the episode, subscribe to Ransom Roni. Link is in the description. He's back on YouTube full time. So he's doing all his live streams, all his content now. All I don't think he's using Twitch no more. Yeah, bro. So back. yeah, he's back on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to Ransom Roni. Links in the description or even the title. Depends what Dave does. You know, them wait there. And yeah, we'll be back next week. Gang business.